This is for the nerds, this is for the brainiacs, this is what we deserve. Go ahead and play it back, you ain't gonna touch me, you not gonna do nothing, you are not above me, I bet you wish you was me, I know it, I know. What is poppin' everybody? And welcome back to another special episode of the Only Friends Podcast. Well, you know, it's me and my only friends, which includes, but is not limited to, my boy, Tortu! What is happening? What's poppin', baby? Look at this, man. We are He's a fucking paradise. sea turtle. You are know, literally I'm, at your natural I, habitat. I am in my natural habitat you're, right You're now. just floating yep. around, dude. Mm -hmm. You're Look the biggest sea beautiful. turtle out hold here. Hold on, hold on. Uh, tortoises are land animals, no? Oh. They yeah. are. He, yeah. he yeah. oscillates okay. between a turtle and a tortoise, right. depending on his mood, it well, seems. Mm. When he's feeling younger, yes. he's yeah. a turtle. Right. All, all, tortoises, all tortoises are turtles, but not all tortoises. Oh, that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is yeah. interact. I don't, really I don't think this is a square <laughs> rectangle. Oh, oh, absolutely oh. not. Oh. It, it absolutely is. No, it it's hundred percent true. Look it up. Yeah, look it up. Which way does it go now? Book it. Book it. Book it. Book it. All tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. Okay. Whatever Lamata said is true. I think okay. that should be it's a book. Lamont Brian. Yeah. Book it. Lamont Brian. So this is a this is a flipper versus feet type of yeah, debate. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yep. Right. Uh, I'm not right. gonna get into that one. Yeah. I'm not co-signing that one, but the other one, yes. And the, I mean, <laughs> and the Landon, flippers came second. Landon, that was Landon the. went from calling right. me uh, tortoise to turtle, so maybe I'll just I, maybe I'll talking just to the to, mic. Maybe I'll just go out into the sea. Hey, why don't you just shut up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Would you Fuck just this. shut up, man? I am out. Yeah, you guys don't know how much we've talked about, Brian. Just about to walk off set last week. It was I mean, one of the best moments ever. Listen. The audience is lucky there is a podcast. It's almost killed the host. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, you not the, the sidekick. I'm sorry. It this, almost killed the, the sidekick. Went on, you know? Can we also yeah. just talk about the fact that uh, not only have we been setting up for mm, going on four hours now, but we have no in the muck. We have no laptop for Landon to do it in the muck. Wow. We're, on we, we're in the fire. muck. We're, we're in the, the muck, muck right yeah. now. We're, we're Listen, mucking it up real good. Landon, did you bring yeah. your laptop? I brought it with me, but not with me. With Oh. Landon's back is in the muck. <laughs> show them your Landon, hammock. Yeah. Show them your hammock back. So Landon decided to sleep um, in the hammock last night because yeah, I what don't happened? Know why. Yeah, why did you sleep in the hammock, itchy Landon? Bed. Well, can you show the people but your what back? What do you mean, no. itchy? Landon, this is content that we it's need. It's content. Landon, show the people is it your sunburn back. Sunburn or what? Can you describe Not sunburned. it? It's lattice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a waffle fry. He looks like he was in Passing of the Christ. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that joke. That joke is reserved for you. That's Literally true, for yeah. you, and mm -hmm. the edited oh, face looks good, like right. you. Bob, you're good. You're good. You're good. He just wants someone else to be the Passion of the Christ. He is guy the Passion of the Christ. I've never even seen Passion of the Christ, so I don't know. Just, I Look felt in like, the mirror. I felt like he was getting whipped or something. It's a very uh, apropos reference given that today is easter oh, monday he is uh, it is easter monday, monday. He is it would be the day. It's actually april fool's day so it's it still, is also it's still well, a I mean, great reference How also an april apropos anything? reference for uh easter monday i think for those of less vocabulary what the fuck does apropos mean it's appropriate appropriate but it's like a what what why could you just say appropriate? It's like a wider way of saying yeah, Why do you yeah. do that? It sounds he wants fancier. To sound cool, no. fancy. Yeah, you, so you put your pinky up and say it. No. Yeah. <laughs> There are times to use apropos. apropos, and that was one of them. And that was an apropos time. <laughs> no, it was an appropriate time to use apropos. Fuck you, oh, Berkey. <laughs> Berkey, just Fuck shut up. Berkey, just shut up. <laughs> you sound like Kendall Roy when you do that. I don't know who that is. It's the guy that everyone said you sound like from Succession. I, when you were ranting on Spaces. Why do I have an echo? Ah, uh, yes, very apropos reference. When you were ranting on Spaces, everyone was like, is that Kendall Roy? Who, uh, wh wh what does he do? He's like um, the rich son of like this guy, and he's trying to get the company. Yeah. Mm. He's like kind of a, a snooty, so like yeah. a sweetie. He's he's snooty, like um, oh, snooty. Yeah, that trust fund sense. guy, kind of. Mm. Trust funds? Wasn't Succession like in the 1700s? No. Oh. No, it's modern day. No, yeah, it's like a I'm so company. You should watch it. It's a good show. Oh, it's just maybe. a show. The the echoes on his just a show. laptop. Allegedly, okay. we won't hear it in post, but. Yeah. When this whole like thing I'm gets scrapped, Madonna. you'll know why. I'm like, I'm like Madonna <laughs> performing. 
Yes, like a virgin on the Virgin <laughs> yeah. Voyage cruise. Shout nice, out. guys. Here we are. Nice. Uh, Yay. We have a little bit of behind the scenes of the Tortois making his way to the beach. Uh, <laughs> we had a big, big Saturday before getting on the boat. We went I to the Marlins time. game. Uh, I went to the Marlins game. That was I'm so guys. glad you called it the Marlins game, not the Pirates that was so game. Cool. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Our sleep has been real weird <laughs> since we started traveling, I feel like. Oh, yeah. We're all in East Coast time, oh, man. Or West yeah. Coast time still, I guess. I, I just didn't bother. Well, I'm I mean, you were just, just having a party. I had a little bit of party last night. Yeah. I got to tell you, bro, Lone Depot Stadium, or whatever it's called, mid. ballpark? Mid. Yeah, very mid. Mid at best. Yeah. I mean, very we were mid. just spoiled from PNC Park. No. No, no. I've been to other ballparks. Yeah, Petco Park, really nice. Honestly, Camden even, Park's really nice. Even Detroit's mm -hmm. Park is very the nice stadiums. by comparison. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, so very, just, very mid. Very. I see why nobody ever goes. Literally, like the third most expensive park in all of baseball. Is it really? I don't know. It was very expensive. It was like billion dollars when they built it, or some a retractable nonsense. roof. I'm gonna get blasted in the comments. There's oh, no yeah. way it was a billion dollars. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Point high. is, not a Point new is, source. It was way too expensive. They used mm -hmm. to have like little Havana in left field, and then they realized no one cared, and they tore the whole thing down. You know, uh, again, I'm right. I'm gonna get trash, but it was like a big rainbow thing going on out there. Nice. I don't know. I would like that. Yeah, well, I, they took it down because well, no one cared. Right. Yeah, I well, thought I'm there was a, not going now. like a pool in the back or used something. To be. Used to be. Yeah. Used to be all kinds of shit. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like everything that was expensive is no longer there. Well, so they look poor. Well, they still paid for it. <laughs> what they do? Why? It's what a waste. Well, you see, Melissa, when it only three thousand people showed up to a stadium that has capacity of sixty, they were just like, we don't oh, care. They don't want to keep it running. We, we just don't mm -hmm. care. Put okay. fucking tarps over everything. Right. We don't care. R.I.P. I feel like I such a genius right now. I just pulled out my phone to pull up the stream. What stream? <laughs> Oh, this yeah. stream? Yeah. What did the chat say? Yeah. What's the chat up to? Yeah, I was yeah. going to see what the chat was they, talking about. They wanted to see if I was right about the billion? Yeah, they're, I, they're, they're, I you know. was going to go talk shit with them. But Shout out to the chat. If you're fair. out there, hit hashtag Discord. You know, go ahead and hit the in the muck segment and all kinds of bullshit. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Hit that. Yeah, hit that. Uh, so we are <laughs> recording to, uh, to and not live. We're not live if you didn't get that, and uh, we're doing it later. Um, but uh, what what were your first impressions of the ship? Huh? Ship's great. I think the people like would like to know. Look how gorgeous it looks in the background. Look at shot. Is, that, is this the Atlantic Ocean or the Caribbean? Are they the not Ocean. the same? It no. looks fake, but I promise you it's not Definitely fake. Not the we're on the Indian Ocean. Melissa's we spending this are the best at geography. Okay, we, I'm not good at geography. It's the right. Atlantic. It's I the believe Atlantic. it's the Atlantic, and I know it's right. not the Indian. It's but the we're Atl going into Atlantic the Caribbean slash Sea. Indian mm -hmm. sea. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. The Caribbean no. Sea. I'm pretty right, sure we're going to pass through the Panama Canal, and then we'll be in the Pacific Ocean. I think it's the Black Sea. No, 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 listen. I don't know a lot about geography, but everything Melissa's naming is definitely in Europe. Well, we're going from the Atlantic we're not to the close Black to Europe. Sea. Are you sure Adrian, we're not in the Arctic not. Ocean? Absolutely not, no. Maybe no. the Arctic. No. The Maybe. Bering Strait is nowhere near us. I what don't even know if that has Strait of Magellan, Magellan, for sure. Strait of Magellan. That, Strait of Gibraltar, for sure. The Panama Canal yeah. is somewhere around here. All I don't, the canals. I don't think that's true. <laughs> the I Suez really Canal. Uh, LaManna did not stop cooking at the Marlins game, by the way. Right. He he has a little ditty for us. Oh, Jesus. Not a pee ditty. Easy. Do not, do not associate nah, me no with Diddy, Diddy my dude. just because that we're both rappers. The new Diddy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Brian. Not a Diddy. I kidnap you for the week. Rolling up and going up. I'm smoking weed and pulling up. I look up and hold it up. I take your legs and fold it up. I take my time. I break it down. I tell you not to make a sound. I take that KK, pass it round. Your clothes keep dropping to the ground. Woo! Got him! Got him! <laughs> That was my little homage to, sure uh, you, to you know, 
Wiz Khalifa, Pittsburgh's own Wiz Khalifa, after the Pirates just <laughs> mopped the Marlins. Yeah. I think sound good. What do you think? You think I got a career? I don't know, but I just made five hours of a half drinking I'm giant coke. coke. I'm so Is thirsty. that the most private you've made so far on trip? By far. <laughs> you just bought his coke off I him for $5? His, yeah, I, I'm so It's thirsty. like not even a full glass of it's coke. It's like pretty full. It's full enough. I mean, to be fair, they're not free. Yeah. Oh, no, they're free. Yeah, they're those, free. Those free. Yeah. Have those you been paid? Let me see that. No, but like, yeah, you have right to pay now. for all your drinks except profit. for pop. Yeah, just find me when I'm thirsty pop. and have a jag yes, diet coke around me, and I'll buy it. So uh, that's the hustle. I know every morning I'll have. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna bring in like three. <laughs> <For five> hours. <laughs> I just stole it. If he, door if he does this hustle. enough days in a row, he gets to play King Two suited again. Wow, what a beautiful hand that was. I can't believe how much of a degenerate you are. What do you mean? Uh, like you're you're on case money and you just open the king deuce suited under the gun. Would you not? Yeah. You, uh, I would so not. I was, first off, I was not under the gun. Yeah, you were under the gun too. You were under the gun. I was straddling. I straddled. Oh, oh my did god. Straddle. That How was many hands did you open? You're right. That was the reason why I opened. Gun eight. Well, gun eight. Gun eight. Gun eight. Gun eight. Gun eight. You have a gun eight yeah. over a straddle with king deuce suited. Yeah. yeah. You deserve what you got. Right. Oh, shit <laughs> happens. Got boat overboated. Yeah. yeah, it was no fun. He, yeah. he neglected to mention the Imagine king deuce. Being what was it, king five no, deuce? I don't deuce? care. No, it was king three deuce. King wow. three deuce, uh, deuce eight. Wow, just threes or eights? Eights. Brutal. Oh. Pain. Imagine like opening five pips too wide and saying, eh, it happens. <laughs> yeah. It I happens. do that all the what time. What the fuck are you talking yeah, you about? Do that I do Well, yeah, but there's a difference. I can reload. Yeah, I mean, what When happens? you could reload, it happens. Well, you're like <laughs> I mean, on you know, or something. No, 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 no. I, exactly yeah, where I'm, I am. Look, I've opened, <laughs> I've opened gun eight with King Deuce before. Okay, I'm not gonna pretend like I. Yeah. You're saying uh, I'm, I'm not holier I'm, than thou. You're saying a fatter bankroll <laughs> is an excuse to play poorly. Yes. Well, no, but no. it's an excuse to you know, YOLO every once Fart in a while. Around. Yeah. Farting around. Farting around. Farting around. <laughs> farting around. <laughs> Chill, I mean, I don't think there's <laughs> so much farting. And what I mean, oh, every once in a while, like, every other round. When, I, when we were getting on the elevators, there was like somebody that, like whoever you are that did that, it was Ripped so ass. bad. Wow. Yeah, it was like so the strong. Disrespect. Anus crimes. And then we got into the elevator and I was like talking to Sam and I was like, who would who would rip ass like when Ain't you're waiting no for the elevator? And some guy was like, oh, sorry, that was me. I was like, oh, I oh, knew it was oh. you. Like, we were just joking. We were just joking around. No, I don't think it was him. I think it was him. Oh, and a shout out to David. I mm, think maybe he said uh, he Possibly. said if I play if I punt it off enough, can I get a shout out on the podcast? I was like, you don't have to punt it off. I'll just. But you forgot his name because he didn't punt it off. Yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shout out to the homie that wants to get a tattoo. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, I don't know if I ran this by everybody or not, but if I put well, today's the day, and I haven't slept yet, so I'm probably not going to see him. This, there's a tattoo parlor on this the ship. This is actually really sharp of me because I'm not going to see him today, so I'm not going to put him in the five k. So he said he would get a soft for Y tattoo and let us film it. Oh my God. But he wanted to be put in the 5K. But I'm going to go right to bed. So I'm not going to see that guy today, right? However, maybe we negotiate the prime. Maybe mm. we give him a couple bullets in the prime. Yeah, and maybe he gets like a S4Y instead of the whole word. I mean, wouldn't you want the bulb? Yeah, you want the bulb. Definitely the yeah. bulb. Just the bulb. Just the bulb. Yeah. yeah. For, yeah. for 1100. 1100. Yeah. Well, and no, I might do that. It's going to be a couple. Okay, let's go. <laughs> that might be Fucking call. Okay, let me know. So well, I how film big it. does it have to be? I'll do it on like, oh, my you, finger or something. Yeah, well, like a no, quarter. No, 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 like no. the come size on, of a quarter. It'll be on your thigh. It's got to be my like. My thigh? That's no. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't even it, have any on my legs. It's got to be like, you know, the, 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 the size of like a, a silver dollar. Will you pay for the tattoo? Yeah, of course. How much and and then plus 11 How much could it possibly cost? Yeah, it might 100 be. 100 bucks? Hmm. You. This is fucking ridiculous. Wait, I could have definitely later on in life or something Imagine negotiated a real price. Eleven hundred. You just fucking shut up, man. <laughs> Why That's like pretty good. All? Like you know, these NFT guys get face tattoos for two hundred fifty dollars. Psychopath. What? There's like you know this guy that there? got like three tattoos on his face of different NFTs that are just zero. Now. Do you know how many people are out there <laughs> with fucking Eric Person's Maverick Gaming oh, tattoo yeah. on them for, for like, free? For free merch. Yeah, they literally just paid for the tattoo. Yeah, the price is already low. What was it? This is this Imagine is I have yet. no tattoos on my body and I just get like a forum tattoo of the <laughs> ball. <laughs> oh, the of the Maverick logo. I'm not getting that. That would be kind of that'd be kind of hard. You would ha Maverick would have to buy my I could my see you with property. tattoos. No. No. So. Oh yeah, I can see. We oh, have as a matter of fact, we I have got a sticker over at the house. Relax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
just relax. I don't, I don't know like what. On the wrong side I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> I mean, weird. appreciate my man who came to the academy and like really tried to hook it. it was really weird. Can you fill in context for the people who? He sent don't. us these stickers, but like <laughs> it looked like I was Ed Norton from yeah, American History of like, so There's stickers head. of tattoos. I have like face tattoos. Yeah, it, it it's just like literally a headshot of me. It's a headshot of me, except tatted. Also, okay. it was sprayed with like Axe body spray. Yeah, that's true too. And it was the sticker, whole, it's a sticker. There was yeah, a bunch like of a bunch t-shirts of too. And shirts. Yeah. Mm. With Berkey as, with Berkey like, a, as like a but, head. It was weird. But Berkey's okay. sticker has never been seen before. No, it can't. It's it, racist as shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's my dude has like a swastika on his cheek. Yeah. Oh my god, shit. it's, it's fucking weird, fine. man. Yeah, it's like it's a little. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll take Ed Norton from I fucking with that guy. He just decided to lying. get creative. He's and like, did Berkey like that package? I'm like, yeah, I think he liked it. <laughs> I love I Everything love says mine. Supreme on it. Oh my god. <laughs> mine yeah. was the best, I must say. Yeah, Connor's is on his uh, laptop. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. He doesn't have it with him today. Oh, he made you guys stickers of each of you? It doesn't yeah. say Supreme, what is, what it is says white like? supremacy. <laughs> 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 it says supremacy. Base. <laughs> fucking base tortoise. <laughs> It was oh, only you man. two though. Who else got stickers? Chin. Uh, Chin had one, yeah. <laughs> that was great because it was when Chin was fat and had buck teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Forever in our memories. <laughs> yeah, we'll sell those ones on, on the merch site. <laughs> on the merch site, right. Uh, I think we got a Who's Cooking, Connie. Oh, you, shit. You got, you got a little something for us? Oh, 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 oh I'm supposed to go. Yeah. You're in the okay. place. All right. Well, then we're cooking. Let's find out who's cooking. All right. So you know, this week we had a little high roller. Adam Hendrix <laughs> smoked them. 74k. Where was little, it? He had um. It was a a runner a runner up that um. He's fighting with that boy Landon over there. He's also <laughs> cooking. J Bex. You want what? 40k. Sure. Something like that. <laughs> man, oh, no. But who's really cooking? My man, Cuz. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, I love this man. That is pretty amazing. Ooh. We're gonna get him on this week. I heard he was like having an orgy in the lobby and shit. Oh, he actually has some pretty <laughs> sick moves. I know. Of course look he look does. At, look at the footwork. I mean, he can Cubs move. Fuck? Look at his like his. No, hips I, I had only like... seen from the top up, but, the, but his footwork okay. is well, like, not his, bad. I'm just impressed by his mobility. Yeah. Look at his footwork. This is yeah. He's yeah. a trained dancer. He does hey, have footwork, hey, right? Cuz, cuz fucks. Listen, hey. I, I don't doubt it. Look at that video. Absolutely, cuz fucks. He put the hand out. Hey, day. sweetheart, you want to see what that cigar was last night? I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? The same one in his mouth uh, that day. You know what I'm saying, cuz? <laughs> All right, we're going to get cuz on this week. I'm actually no, cuz. No if, ands, and buts. Yeah, that was pretty uh, cool. Man, I, I love to be cuz on this. Yeah, that was moves. cool and cooking. We should have cuz cool just teach you. Speaking of, there is a boy band dance class that we are all going to oh, take, no. and you'll see some vlog footage. We will be taking it. You will see some vlog footage. I'm 100 in. At least Guapo. Yes. I think Guapo. Apple will take it and Brian will take Tortoise, it. Tortoise, definitely. Yeah, that's there. it. No, so, he's enthusiastic. Berkey I'm, has I'm to lose a bet. I'm the goddamn class. Oh, okay. I, I'm out. You don't um, want to do... Boy, for the content. Know. For the content. We'll learn a... I don't want to embarrass everybody. Berkey's uh, the worst dancer in this room. I wouldn't be embarrassed. Show everyone right. No, well, not you. I mean, but, you know, these guys. No, definitely would not. None of Listen. them would be embarrassed. No. LaManna would teach the class. Yeah. For sure. He still knows the entire movie. So, I was browsing Reddit earlier today. This is This is pretty wild, actually. A thread popped up about the WPT Voyage Cruise, oh. and it it's was cannabis. like it was titled uh, "I'm horrified." WPT this Voyage mortified. Cruise. Horrified. But probably horrified well, the, as well. That was the right, title, but the though. title yeah, of the yeah. thread was horrified. I gotcha. Uh, and it just says mortified, absolutely mortified. I'm beyond embarrassed. Went to Sailor Services to load my bracelet. And this Russian hottie is going through my app to set up my account and Wi-Fi. She opens my browser, and Sasha Gray is getting holed out. <laughs> hold out. The why emojis. fucking why? <laughs> oh, you gotta I mean, it. Bro's got to like mean, hit got, the X button. Yeah, we you have know, her he's on to, to see what she thinks. I would love it. to hear her thoughts on. <laughs> Gotta said jump passenger. ship after that one. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't think That's that man's an overboard. He, yeah. yeah, he's no longer with us. <laughs> he passed away. He, he passed definitely away. passed away. Yeah. R.I.P. Passion of the Christ. Wow. <laughs> on Easter Sunday, man. I know. On, on April Fool's Day. Yeah. Go, go, Take a day you, off, mate. Do you have any insight on what he getting hold out means? And what does like, that I entail? I have an honest question. Yeah, go ahead. So when you're doing the deed, yeah, um, yeah. 
<laughs> and Take you're all shit. done. It's been a while yeah, for some sure. of these people. Okay. Do you actually close your browser? Like what I'm saying no, is if it's so on your phone, like once you're done, you're like, oh, that next deep. time I open my browser, it's always what I had on three hours before or five hours before, regardless of whatever. Oh, it sounds like you, you want to get out of there as fast as possible. All I'm saying is, is I can, I can understand where this guy's coming from. I mean, it and sounds it's like you, that easily could have happened to me. It sounds like you and this guy could, uh, you know, have a little support group. Yes. Go well, bowling see, or something. The yeah, reason maybe for talk about your the... browser habits and yeah. maybe get a little more cleanliness there. Sure. The oh, reason for closing the browser out is to, you know, avoid that exact situation. Yes. But once that but, you do that, you're kind of like, oh, get this out of here. What the hell was I watching? Aren't you on incognito mode? Uh, I don't matter. even know what that it is. It doesn't oh, matter because when you reopen it, it'll just go well, right you, back to where you You don't reopen incognito. You know, you go to your normal browser. Oh, but you were, were you on your laptop? Why are you talking to me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think the cat's out of the bag. Gentleman on his laptop. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if it's not already obvious, it was me that this happened. To. <laughs> Was the, was the said you know, gentleman? We, we could have pulled this one off. We, we could have never, never, never. It was it was Lamana. He no. just couldn't wait. He's it like, was oh, like, oh, now it is. <laughs> I totally it forgot. Was like, it was like it was like my life passed before my eyes, like in slow motion, <laughs> as I was watching her like pretty manicured finger getting ready to touch the safari button. <laughs> My heart, my <laughs> stomach, everything just got super hot. And then if you grab it at that point, you oh it's God, too it was, sus. It was the no, it doesn't worst, matter. Right? It, was it doesn't matter. You got it. You, got, you grab it. Sorry, oh. my banking info's on there. Oh, so. that's, yeah. Wow, that's, I don't know. that's sharp. The classical music started yeah, playing in the background. Info. That's a good one. Guapo, I have a question. Why wouldn't you close your browser? I, I feel like after you're done with your deed, don't you feel disgusting and you want to pretend like that didn't happen? You just switch that's apps. What yeah, I, I, I try to clean up as quickly as possible and just pass out. Oh, the cleanup. There's times what? where I just wake up and it's there's stuff just playing on my oh phone. My God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it has auto it's play on. on. You're just dreaming it. Just the guy's got to fall asleep. You know? <laughs> he wakes up, dick still in hand, you know. Oh, not the dick in hand. Just gets it going again. Clean eggs off the well. left. Okay, we no. went from playing this as incognito to just making a whole segment out of it. So let's. <laughs> right. I'm just saying, I not let's only close on. the browser, well, I, mean, I delete my well. history. This is the best content we've had in fucking you a year. You seem to have a lot of shame around your porn habits. I just no, no, it's more like my tracks. It's just like, oh, what the hell was that? And then you just kind of. Peep it in. I don't. Yeah, I, just, I don't close it. Honestly, I, here's the real thing: is that you know how like people put the black tape over their uh, cameras because yeah. like the government might be watching. I kind of uh, sometimes that, right? think that like maybe if I leave it open, they'll have access to all my shit on my on my on my what, phone. Your porn? They'll, they'll, they already they'll, know your they'll porn hack habits. Me. But they'll, but if <laughs> you leave if you leave like Yahoo <laughs> Mail open, yeah. no big deal. I don't use yeah, Yahoo. 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 I Yahoo live Mail. in 2024. <laughs> if you leave AOL open. <laughs> my, yeah, if I leave my <laughs> aim <laughs> open. <laughs> don't deflect. Don't pretend <laughs> like as if we're not still talking I, about the you fact You made a that reference you... from 2001. <laughs> like, what, how am I not supposed to acknowledge that? First of all, Yahoo Mail still exists. Does Num it? Number two. So does AOL. Don't pretend. <laughs> yeah. Don't pretend no. like you're not saying the exactly Pornhub is that somehow. It's, first the, of all, it's Red Tube. Well, what, what are they Red Tube. You, you want to make Red a 2001 tube? reference? <laughs> what the fuck? How are you following <laughs> up with Melissa, Red Tube? Melissa is absolutely disgusted right now. Red Tube. Red Tube. Red Tube's degenerate. That's what I watched in college. Listen, someone told me about it. That's There's the one I like. That's, that's the one I like. That one has like degenerate stuff on it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no wonder yeah. she's closing her browser afterwards. Yeah, she I would yeah. too if I was See, on I think it, my, my phone would get hacked for sure. You guys agree? But Nikki still downloads her porn on LimeWire. Do you think it's because they have so many viruses in porn sites that they'll hack? Yeah, it? that's oh, okay. so. I'm like, Wait, I'm like, viruses? I need this. What are you I guys? I thought you didn't want them to track your porn. Maybe habits. that too. I was like, they're definitely doing that Maybe already. Maybe that too. I just think what, that the viruses. It, what viruses? You're stuck on the viruses. <laughs> <laughs> stuck on, what are you getting the hiv off the your porn? No, no, like on your computer. Like a trojan. A trojan. It's like. It's YouTube for porn. But, yeah, but sometimes for those pop-ups come up. Yeah, the pop-ups. No. Pop yeah, they're like, yeah. and then, then it's like, and then I'm browsing something else. Near you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And if I'm like shopping, I like totally forgot I did that. And, and now I'm shopping on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. And then a, a pop-up comes up and right. it's like, hey, you, you want to get it's like, like virus, this? And virus. Like, no, I get don't. Fucked. Oh my God. So I just immediately I close all those and delete my history. So Grandma. That are you watching porn like once a year? What, what is Basically, going on yeah. here? Yeah, no, maybe you like don't once. get all those pop-ups. I've never gotten a pop-up in maybe my life. Maybe that's weird. 
On, you on, guys get pop ups, right? You guys got. <laughs> <laughs> Are we only getting pop ups? I don't know. It's I, like see how uh, long you can last. Yes, no. yeah, you know? and it's like a like a floppy dick yeah. dildo thing yeah. that's like this, <laughs> and it's like an <laughs> anime girl. Don't, like, don't oh want it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Very 2013 of you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What you browser don't are you? No! Safari! Absolutely it's not. Okay, it's only us. I'm using Safari, yeah. yeah. And, then, and, then the, and then it'll just come up like, you have a virus, boop, 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 and then it's like all these pop-ups. Thank <laughs> God she's that here. That hasn't happened to me like two, since 2003. Oh, well. Well, that's why sure. I closed okay. the you must, have, you must have premium Start or something. using Google Chrome. Go to Pornhub Premium or something. <laughs> Just be Even fine. Even with Adblock, it comes up. All, All right, I'm this, saying this is, is this has never happened to me where a service worker has pressed on my phone and seen Sasha Gray getting okay. pulled out. I, mean, I, so I, so to me, I think I it have been a pretty good job over once. here. To like, be fair, between, oh, between you two getting pop-ups and him watching Sasha Gray, I feel like I've gone back into 2011 anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha Gray is a timeless classic. She's, Thank she's you. a streamer now. Maybe she'll yeah, she's maybe 40. she'll come on our podcast. <laughs> she, did she finally shave the bush, or is it still intact? Uh, that I don't know. <laughs> that you don't know. I did oh, miss that part. Okay. The on that he was sure. too busy was, looking at all the men in the, the video. Guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there was three to four gentlemen that there were okay. taking. <laughs> this is a poker podcast, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> He wasn't even looking tortoise, at her. You know, don't get too yeah. hard over there. Yeah. You need, need to add him on, on cruise. this one. It's vacation. Yeah, he was poking her. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. Talk about it. Good job, Nikki. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Talking about the cruise. Yeah. Uh, I saw somebody was on this boat. Somebody, I'm, I'm kind of interested to get on the podcast. Oh, you got a, you got a guest coming on? I want to get a guest on. I want the sign guy. Oh, um, yeah. We're not having this. <laughs> What's he going to say? Wait, he fucking... He's already here. We should have him walk in with a sign, like a he, custom sign. Honestly, he just needs to have a sit down with Guapo. They're going to have a support group. And mm -hmm. we just need to. Do he you himself. somehow think that Terry, the sign guy, is not Wait, Guapo? <laughs> this would be so funny to have him in and have him and Guapo, like, you know, yeah. get, get just on like common a solo ground. interview. <laughs> yeah. Imagine we cut to, like, like, the he, webcam you know, and it's just I'm Terry, the sign guy, switching. <laughs> <laughs> Taking off yeah. his mask. I can set that up. And somehow, like, doing a remarkable job. <laughs> like, what? I'm sorry. He <laughs> follows me on Twitter. Oh, of course he does. I, I, I can DM him. him. On. I, I would rather. I, what does he have to it say? It's all written on the it side. It could be enlightening. And I think Guapo <laughs> and him could have a really good conversation. What are you going to be enlightened about? I mean, I Robbie know. did just win a tournament. What do I need to be sure. lightened about? I don't know yet. He, he, Robbie did just win like a three hundred dollar buy in for you know twelve hundred and fifty dollars, and she <laughs> took Jack Four as the winning hand and somehow fucked up the suits. Yeah, she didn't get the suits. <laughs> she got them backwards. She had the blocker. She had the she had the four of clubs. Yeah, I, even I remember it. <laughs> it's wild. It's wild to get it wrong. Uh, Does she not remember the whole blocker <laughs> conversation? Exactly. What, yeah. what world am I living the in blocker. here? I had a disappointment. Blocker. Incredible. Um, well, while we're on the topic of poker, let's yeah. let's maybe <laughs> get to For a little a bit of meat here. Matt Marinelli put a tweet out. Uh, I guess this would have been a couple days ago now, and uh, this is a little bit baited, but we'll roll with it. He said, "Your poker career is determined by variance. Even 500k hand samples can have massive shifts in results. Check out this experiment by looking at the EV big blind per hundred of six poker bots playing against each other for millions of hands. There is no rake." So the true win rate is zero. Okay, so I have a question. Please, hit me. Like, it, the less skill edge, the higher the variance, right? So Absolutely. it's like, obviously, that if you take six spots, it's going to be really high variance. Yeah, but his point is that over 6.5 million hands, variance still existed, which I don't think most people can conceptually understand. But that's because they're yes, all the, the same, right? Right, but... but Right, but Very over three. six and a half million hands, it didn't converge. It would be zero, 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 but instead it oh, wasn't. Oh, like it was still there. It was, was still yeah. almost two big yeah. blinds in variants. Mm -hmm. So basically what he's saying is like, you know, everyone who plays live, you'll never, ever, ever, like you're not as good as you think you are. Right. So what you're saying is very valid and it's the obvious, uh, it's the obvious pushback against his tweet. And that's why that was my first reaction. And it's when correct. I saw that. You're absolutely correct like, well, because this obviously. doesn't take win rate into consideration, right? If yeah. if everybody has zero win rate, then variance is going to dictate the winner, of course. Yeah. Um, but in an environment where like somebody might be winning like thirty big blinds and someone else losing thirty, they can skate with a lot less variance mm -hmm. for sure. Go ahead, Conrad. I'm sorry, but this is something that you're going to want to hear. Go ahead. 
Like, sign guy's here? Huh? What, Terry's here? Fuck the sign guy. Go ahead. What happened? I'm gonna cry. Oh, what no. happened? The Steelers got Justin Jefferson. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? No. No, oh, this... it's April Fools. It's April oh, Fools. There's no way. Me. There's god no way. Damn it. God. I wow. Good job, remember. Did you see that reaction? Good job, that Tortoise. Was... Thank you. Thank Good you. Job, Before Tortoise. I got too excited, I'm like, wait, it's April Fools' Day. Fuck. I hope he didn't cut Son me on the camera. I don't want to. You were going, fuck. I didn't want to. I got excited for about. 2.3 2. 2. 2. seconds. Here, here, here's the frustrating he thing. Here's seconds. the frustrating thing. It's not that he played an April Fool's joke. It's that he waits until we the finally meat, get yes. to the meat of yes. the. He does he this all the, the fucking time. time. Right? He could, right? Yes. No, he does this all the time. Like somebody <laughs> says something in chat, right dead no. smack in the for, heart yes. of the for, podcast. No, for what? He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 Perk. No, for what it's worth, you have to give him credit on this one because if he's going to pull an April Fool's joke, that's when he should do it because it seems more real. I disagree. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm with you on that one, Conrad. Yeah, of course you are. Sports You're sports. not leading the fucking pod. Yeah, the way it's so hard to get this group on track, I agree with Berkey. <laughs> so variants. <laughs> right. Like, what are we going to do? We have 30 uh, minutes to film, man. Do you want to laugh? <laughs> no. Well, I didn't realize... That it was an April Fool's joke. That doesn't make it better, though. No, it it was, just I never... think it makes it a little better. That he, it does. He thought, oh, it, was hey, 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 he thought it was breaking news. But it, <laughs> right. This is not, not, for the, not for the nerds and brainiacs. <laughs> he thought it was breaking news. You can't break news, news when we're recording. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's recorded breaking news. Unbelievable. All right. So the point back to this tweet was... My God! What you're saying is obviously true. When there's no win rate, variance is going to dictate the winners. Mm -hmm. Matt's point is that nobody has any that concept of sample. No one can sample, outrun variance. Which kinda? nobody has any concept of sample. So imagine it's 6.5 million hands. Mm -hmm. Everybody playing yeah, break even doesn't converge, right? Yeah. So imagine you're a live person now. How many hands are you going to play in a lifetime? Hundred thousand? Not anywhere right. close. A little to that. more. Like, Not anywhere close. Maybe to 6 .5. maybe a million. You might play a million maybe hands a in million. a lifetime. Yeah. Right. I, I think like on average you play about thirty thousand hands a year if you're playing full time. So twenty years you're playing six hundred k hands. Wow. Thirty years you're playing almost That's a million. Crazy. So you're I have another ten years to go before I get to a million hands live. So you're saying basically that like any winning player live, we just don't know if they're lucky or good. Well, not <laughs> no. What I'm saying is that I know both that they are both lucky and good. Yeah. And yeah. that's that's the. That's the real meaning of this tweet of like what matters. David Baker followed it up and uh, he was kind of echoing what you said mm -hmm. and he's right, but it's a little bit tone deaf because I think he misses the mark as well. He said, uh, at the risk of getting attacked, this means zero. Run six bots playing roulette, the same, you'll see the same with variants. Yeah, or like That's the whole point or... of poker. You never have six players playing exactly the same for millions of hands. Skill separates winners and losers. Variance is not a part of the sole result. So what he's saying is now also true. But yeah. it's totally ignoring the survivorship bias aspect of it. Right. right. The the underlying thread to pull at here is that samples live are very small. Mm. Win rates can be incredibly big. But every single person who's made it past the point of uh, risk of ruin has gotten lucky. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. It, it's it's but just undeniable. But I think undeniable. you can say that for not just poker, like business, yeah. you know, like other fields. Survivorship bias is for sure present everywhere. Yeah. So you it's can, just to what but degree. But I'm just wondering, like, how is there a way that you can frame that in, you know, something that's like helpful for improvement? Or because you know, it can kind of be a drag to be like, yeah. Oh, survivorship bias. Well, maybe I'll just run bad forever. Blah blah blah. You know, like it's kind of like. I think that's kind can of can be a not helpful framework. Yeah, I, I understand your point. Um, I think it's I think recognizing survivorship bias is really important once you've gotten past the point of risk of ruin. Uh, and then I also think it's like an important frame of mind whenever you're in the bottom third run, mm -hmm. right? Like Brewer just suffered through. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of my rebuttal to Dave. Uh, ODB was just like there will be people of equal talent who just hit a bottom tier run mm -hmm. and disappeared. Like, right. Like they just vanished. We'll never hear or see from them. It's the same true. on the other side of the spectrum too, right? Where the right. people have the exact same skill who just like go into the, you know, outer space and you're just like- Yeah, I mean, some people just yeah. sun run. Some right, people think yeah. luck is, is a skill. Oh, tell me. Chewy, Chewy you make your own says luck? that. That's true. Chewy does believe in manifestation. And, and I mean, maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's also is, really good at poking. Is Mars in, in Gatorade again? Mercury, it is. first of all. And yes, oh, it just started today. Okay. Yeah. Well, how does Mar- that Mars might be in Gatorade te- soon. Technical issues. Well, technical issues. Breakdowns. Yeah. Exactly. That's mm-hmm. why it took you guys four hours to set up. Had and a fight before no the communication. podcast. Right. Yep. Yeah. Everyone was fighting. Conrad signing Justin Jefferson. No, we're fighting because no one slept. Uh, yeah. Since Wednesday. I slept yeah. in the hammock I last sure week. Slept. Can you please show the people you're back? No. Like, you're fucking depriving the people right now. That's Come on. Okay. Show it to them. It's not good news. Just picture waffles. It'll be on, it'll be on our Patreon. <laughs> so, yeah. so there's surviving. <laughs> <laughs> in the back shot section. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <It'll> <laughs> It'll just see pictures it. of people's backs. <laughs> That's your new website. It's like Feet Finder. But yeah. <laughs> you can rate that. Wow, great idea. What yeah. is his post we'll trying to... Try, like, what's the main point? It's just like, hey, don't ever... Yeah. Don't have hope. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what, what I'm mean? getting at. It's like, yeah. how so is like, this helpful? what's the meat? Uh, because the thing is, is like, yeah, survivorship bias. But like, all you can do is all you can do in life. You can just try to do the best possible things like take the best precautions study do all the things and you're not guaranteed success ever never you're never guaranteed yeah. success but, life, so but much it gives you a life. better shot at success and i think that's all that's what luck is is just you like prepped yourself to the point where like now it's like god take the wheel and then like maybe he does maybe he doesn't but uh, i think i think for the math guys it's just a reminder of, to everybody else of like how small and out of control we are like I think that there's a big misconception of control whenever it comes to, uh, let's just deal with poker. Let's not get into the bigger picture okay. of life, right? But like within, within the framework of poker, you have a certain amount of control over the decisions you make. And a lot of people try to curate a skill where they attempt to, to manipulate the outcomes mm. that are effectively focus predetermined. focus too much on that instead of yeah. studying Yeah, so it's more. like the people who try to not not go broke with kings versus aces mm-hmm. they're trying to manipulate an outcome that was predetermined yeah if you have kings versus aces like in no theoretical realm outside of like you know the furthest extreme and that was a big lines jam, effective. yeah whatever you know when- like sure there are certain times to like you know maybe have a weird one-off deviation but like in general uh you're just it's predetermined you're just supposed to go broke there set over set you're just supposed to go broke there mm-hmm. flush over flush like whatever these hands have to just end up the way that they end up otherwise you're costing yourself win rate for the times where you don't get cooled off yeah. right but a lot of people try to manipulate and control those outcomes to the best of their ability and that's how they frame their entire skill set and i think like from matt's perspective as a math guy it's very freeing to just recognize how little control we have over all of that aspect because that's just literally a manifestation of variance just right? lean into the variance well, it's the just pay narrative, right? right. It's just mm-hmm. like, yeah. I'm not going to try to right fold anyway. flushes when they mm-hmm. win. You know, they're five card hands. They're it really hard to fold. It feel like that's the message of the two. No, it's a lot more. I, I mean, you it's know. It's a lot more like, these guys all suck and you guys don't know who's actually good. I think he's more saying like, everybody sucks. It's more doomerism, I that's think. That's what yeah. I'm it saying. It feels doomery and I, that's yeah. why I'm like, well, right. how, how can this be spun in a way that's even helpful for anybody? Because like, to me, that's kind of like. When you add win rate into it. It kind you know? of has the feeling of just like, hey, just remember, we're all specks of dust in, sp- in space on a rock. Like, and it's right. like, okay, cool. That, yeah, but true. What am I yeah, to do with but that? what do we do with that? The, the, thi- the, the, the framing that I think it's lacking is uh, if instead of having six equal uh, opponents, it had three, e- or sorry, four equal opponents and then one winner, one loser. Yeah. So say like, uh, let's cu- say a 10, or sorry, a 20 big blind winner and a 20 big blind mm-hmm. loser. Seems or like even that. just like one winner and three losers. And showing that over 6.5 million. Right, so now what you would see, the variance would still exist, huh. but that player would just win yeah. no matter what. Yeah. He would just win at a different clip. That, mm-hmm. See, me, that is way more of a helpful, like, thing to think about right well mm-hmm. it's probably not even like 20 bigs right you can just say someone's winning five like even five big five, minds playing yeah. online is like a I mean, huge think about like yeah. house edges with slots like they're right, right, less right. than 10. right so like if you look at 100k sample size he might be winning 10 big blinds he might be winning one big blind might just be if losing. you look at a million he might be winning like three and a half big blinds or seven big blinds and if you look at like 10 million hands now it might be like four or mm-hmm. six, you know what i mean it's just going to continually converge upon his true win rate it kind of like uh Wait, I was going to say, <laughs> it's, it's like uh, game selection should be like at the forefront, kind of like, you know, because like if you're playing against six other people that are all winning players or just as good as you, then there's going to be so much more variance when you're playing against 
you know, uh, a much better table, then your your win rate is just going to skyrocket. Turtles advocating for bum hunting. Yeah. Well, it's just like think that's like something that affects your ROI, and so is studying, and so is like a lot of other stuff. That I think is really important is the like studying impacts your win rate and yeah. ROI. Well, like, I mean, bankroll management mm -hmm. affects your win rate. And ROI. We've all kind of agreed that the machine has the highest win rate. It's about playing like online environments. Like you play on left hands against the machine. I don't know. There was a big debate. I don't know that everyone's agreed. Oh, that's true. Right, right, right. There might be a whole camp that thinks the machine. Right. Okay. Besides that camp, let's move the <laughs> camp away. Uh, if you're playing online cash and you're just Bro's playing cooking. against the machine. Uh, the idea would be, I want to play the strategy that the machine does because over the longest period of time, that'll make me win the most. Right. And in some spots, that's just paying with bluff catchers that are worth zero. And the machine's just like, you know what, it's worth zero. I call and I lose and I move on with my life. But there are, uh, and maybe this is where I think like ODB's tweet is relevant and Marinelli might miss it. Uh, there's a lot of situations live where you can just do better. I think that's fair. I'm, I'm just I'm more so saying like from the infinite game standpoint yeah, yeah, yeah. online. Yeah, yeah. Right, like you play online, you don't really know what's going on, you don't know your opponent very well, and let's just say reads can't be made. Even live with reads and everything else, you're still going to converge, it just takes longer time. Yeah, well right. there's more correct answers. There's no actual right. zero EV. Right, right, it's just yeah. plus minus, but you don't know, you never know if you're plus or minus. But like guessing. in those moments, you're still iterating against each other. Right, you see a showdown, things change. Mm. You don't go to showdown, things stay the same, or th things change in a presumptive way, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I found it to be an interesting tweet because I think like this is one of those this is one of those concepts that like just drastically divides the community immediately. Like yeah. Landon Becker, you know, it just immediately divides into those two camps of like either you're on Marinelli's side where it's like, yep, we're all just like really lucky, and those of us who are studied and better than others are going to reap the rewards because we're gonna suffer less we'll negative variance and still more. lose long like short term. You know, like the important part there is even if you have a win rate, you can still just lose for a long period of time. And it's not that you're doing anything wrong. Right. And some like I have some friends that go on some downswings here and there and think they have to do a strategic overhaul. No, nah, they suck. Because <laughs> uh, because like they lose, call it a couple days in a row or like lose for 10,000, 20,000 hands. And it's like you're not doing anything wrong. The only yeah. thing that's wrong here is thinking that you have to change. Yeah. And then I think like uh, ODB's counter is like, well, if you win for 15 years straight, like that's not luck. And I think that's also semi-reasonable. It's basically just demonstrating that, like, even in a slow environment like live, this person clearly has a win rate. Yeah. And maybe we can't pinpoint what it is, but it's greater than zero. Yeah. Well, there's and there's more win rate afforded at live. For sure. So it's kind of there's more to scoop up. Nobody knows what people are losing live, man. Marinelli is an online. Yeah, I just mean from like the, the people losing don't know. Do you think that it, it's hard for the machine to uh, account for human emotion too? Because like that's honestly like where a lot of win rate comes from live uh, like well, with this with edges. Like is people tilt? I don't know about online. I, I but like it feels like uh like live like you, they drove there, they parked, they they're yeah. losing. Like they tilt more. Tilt, There's more meta. Tilt is always going to be. Like tilt won't it shouldn't matter long run right if you're playing a theoretically sound strategy you'll just no that's what that i'm money. saying i don't think that they are i think that's why live it i don't know if this chart is accounting for like how crazy the live uh games are when right but all i tilt way more spots, online so it's not accounting for any <laughs> for what it's worth. Edge really like right -wise. Yeah. right but like the like if you call it tilt whatever it's a negative skill edge uh machine's still gonna pick up ev right machine, machine will still pick it up it just won't maximize that one specific spot yeah but like it'll maximize it over the long you're run. still winning you might not be winning the most mm -hmm. but you're still gonna yeah. win more right. because they're losing more as they're not playing theoretically sound right they don't have to give anything up to collect their small chunks of ev as opposed to like trying to collect all the ev in that one exact yeah. spot while putting themselves out on like the in theory if a bluff catcher is zero ev but in practice because they're tilting it's positive and they fold they're not really losing money like they are in default to calling but the machine's still going to call normally and win money from someone playing suboptimally mm -hmm. it's yeah. just going to take too long yeah they the might they might heal from their tilt <laughs> like, they like yeah. theory <laughs> theory has no time you, you limitation don't get to capitalize. that's the right. difference maybe i'm misunderstanding this graph uh, it sounds like it, it's saying like uh Hey, if you played six this, million hands, there'd be this much variance. Oh, that, well, it's if six, all win rates are if equal. They were six equal. Oh, they were all, playing against right. each other. Right. Okay, so well, that's, there's no win rate. It's the thing. Yeah, everyone's no, everyone's every, break even versus zero, each other. So it's just variance, basically. Like when there's no win rate, you're it's just 
experience. Like right? the like way that reaction. people might think the graph should look after six and a half million hands would be that Flat. the win rates is just zero, 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 right, zero. Right. But it's like 0. 0.8 minus 0. 0.7, where somebody that's winning might think they're doing something extremely different than the guy that's losing, okay. who looks like he has a bad reg mm -hmm. or like I understand a now. shit reg. But in reality, they're both just as good as each other. Gotcha. Someone got to win more all ins or have better bluff catching Distribution, spots. Yeah. like. But it kind of makes sense to me, like, who's, like, on each camp, because, you know, like, Matt Marinelli plays, like, high volume, like, right. hard games online, so does, like, Pads, I saw him post it, like, it's a lot of people who are used to maybe more of, um, like, a thin edge type of game. Yeah. So, it kind of makes sense, like, the different camps I mean, that's, that's what it boils down to, right? The lower your win rate, on average, the more variance yeah. will exist. So for live guys, it feels variance free often because you might be winning double digit big blinds it, per hunt. Yeah, per which hour. is feels... kind of the issue in the sense of survivorship bias where well, someone- Well, because long term, nobody's winning that much. At that cliff, just mm -hmm. because right. you won the all ins in the spot where if you didn't win them, you could- Not even that, it's just like you you capitalize on uh, people whose loss rate are infinite and then they go broke. You know what I mean? Like, sure. you but put in a big enough sample, all of it regresses to the mean. But when you you're saying long, the long term, the, you're saying like, six million like 30 40 years right more so some people won't even realize that three or four lifetimes right so some people will just drop out after 10 years and maybe be big winners in the game just because like that, they're that just never gonna kind of speaks to your point of like how yeah. is this important to us right because yeah. live like yeah in a lifetime you're only gonna play a million hands and you're only so, gonna play x hundred x thousand tournaments right so yeah if that yeah so not i mean everyone like, can be chosen. and i think matt's point is like okay well if you only play a million hands over your lifetime live and you're a winner then to some degree you were chosen yeah which is well, mildly it's, fair it's like to saying, even be playing poker to begin with you were chosen like if to be able to play poker for i mean a living sort of the the game kind I mean, of like self-selects like extrapolate right? this to every i mean it's like yeah so what, like i wasn't born in you know like the, the depths of hell like, <laughs> sure. yeah i was chosen sure. does this exist way more in mtt's right because you could just rip off a million dollar win where you can't do that in a cat like you have to like you could just run you don't have to run so good to rip off a million dollar win in a in a thousand dollar tournament but you you do have to run so good to win a million dollars in the cash I think game it's at tough. a certain stake level i think it's tough to say because live you'll never realize true rois right the sample's so small yeah and i think it's really difficult to quantify what a good player's win rate is in in uh live mtt like there could be i just think the standard deviation can be much greater in a mtt than it is in a cash game well yeah because yeah. of the outlier scores of that's course. what i'm saying yeah right. right but but what i'm saying is that there are two two parts at play here one is the roi on the event which can't be realized of course uh and then the other is the big blind per hundred mm -hmm. win rate that they have playing throughout the event so the ROI is going to have like a massive standard deviation because you're going to win like, you know, a thousand buy-ins in an event. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be hard to ever regress to the mean because right. you just can't play that many tournaments in right. your life. But uh, if you play 10,000 tournaments in your lifetime, your big blind per hundred win rate, it's not going to be, it's not going to be super accurate, but like relatively so. And the issue is that in MTTs, you're never really measuring things that way. No, because mm -hmm. right? chips later are worth more. Right, so like, stacks are smaller. so like you could take somebody who seems like they have big outlier ROIs, be, like somebody like Chance, right? He's played a bunch of events and he has a ton of outlier scores. And it makes it seem as though he has like an unattainable ROI for like, which he mm -hmm. does, don't get me wrong. But the mean he may regress to might be a lot higher than we give him credit for because he might just be winning like 30 big blinds per 100 throughout day ones right you know he might be winning like 50 big blinds per 100 once they they reach the bubble something along those lines that's what um, i was saying like some people might just not live long enough to regress to nobody nobody yeah. can. No we know that yeah. we know so that it's for just sure. a theoretical reality it's not even that's why i'm like yeah well it's it's more so like what is the theoretical mean right because it's going to be very different than what it is online I i'd imagine it's just rates. like predicated on understanding that or the vast amount gambling is just insanely involved and you can't make yep. poker look like it's, a perfect that's that's the fucking beauty that's the like point. that's the yeah. message okay is that in your lifetime we're gambling baby yeah we're, we're fucking gambling, gambling baby let it ride <laughs> you know let it ride yes. baby that's how i feel about life too yeah yeah we're gambling yeah. We're, but, but it is like there, we're in the middle there's of the so ocean. much variance in life right too. so like you can so it's kind of like so what you can say yeah. like okay if you take this path that you have the biggest chance of success and maybe you should do that path but then at the end of the day 
there's a lot of variance involved. I do think the tweet's just... probably missing, like, having somebody win one big blind, someone loses one big blind. Even just showing one by one big blind, like I think it would zero, be zero, yeah. zero, zero, one, minus one, just to see if the guy that's winning one over seven million hands does win, where it's like, okay, if you uh -huh. work hard and right. you but prove an edge. was this, like, edge. Pluribus? Like, they don't have, like, they couldn't It was just, like, a variance calc. Or, oh. It was just a variance calc. So they calc. could do that data. I think, you, I think it's very maybe possible we do to that. do. But, like, the idea being if you have a win rate in a game that you're playing, if you hammer it long enough, you can be a winner long term. Yeah. To me, that is way more, like, that's, like, the motivation. Yeah. The other person is, like, like doomer. Cause, yeah, because, like, I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not interested in the doomer stuff. Like, I've already been down that path mentally. You've and been it, it's doomed. not, like, helpful. <laughs> it, it's, yeah, I've been, I've doomed myself before. So it's kind of like, <laughs> like, oh, I'll never, you know, it's, like, it's not helpful because then I just stagnate or I don't do anything about it. But then if you just focus on, trying to like attain win rate i think that's the know? biggest thing is that this tweet doesn't frame out that win rate is very important yeah mm -hmm. right it's basically it's just like it's, oh variance it's putting a big variance emphasis is big, yeah guys. it's putting Have a big emphasis that? that variance exists yeah, it is. but it's forgetting to like mention like oh and by the way this other variable exists that can like greatly limit the amount of variance you'll take on yeah and it's incredible like what just a small amount of win rate can do over time i right. think that's like they're missing a big... i still think the graph itself is important just in the sense of you see all zeros and most people over that big of a sample seeing seven million hands would expect all zeros and seeing that it can be right. so different in outcomes for but anyone. almost all those people also diminish their own win rate like i saw chewy retweeted and say like your entire career is basically luck marinelli kind of said the same thing and it's mm -hmm. like they're all diminishing their yeah. own win rates like these guys have been They're proven so used winners to being so good that they've forgotten well, how much has been work it almost becomes <laughs> like a bit of imposter syndrome yeah. where like they don't recognize how big their win rate has been up until this or point what if i've been lucky this whole yeah time? and it, yeah. it starts to creep in of just like oh That's i've just I been sun running helpful, for two it's decades not helpful for, the so, pe for the people running good it's not helpful for the people running bad because the people running good be, are saying what if people i've been lucky the coping though that's kind of sick would this yeah. be the equivalent of just taking a die and rolling it six million times and then just seeing which number lands and you'll you'll see the deviations like Okay, it, Brian, right? like at what number, at what million number would you th expect to see like all of them have the same? Right, exactly. Would it be 7 million? I mean, no, according to this, 65 million infinite, is... No, 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 it doesn't exist. It's infinite. It's, exactly. it's infinite, right. It has it'll, to it'll never, time. It'll, it'll never be... You'll never reach absolute zero. Right. It's... it's that's just you'll the way get, numbers obviously work. You'll, you'll get, get very, very close the higher right. you roll. Correct. Yeah. And I guess More that's the point with the variant with this graph is that even though it's seven million, you didn't get that close because the win rates are still so scattered. Mm -hmm. Right. It might have to be like a billion hands or mm -hmm. something for it to be like. Minus. Well, the win rates aren't so scattered. It's just that the 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 number the, the, the result the fixed variance to the game is is still pretty scattered at that low of a sample. Like yeah. that's still considered a low sample. Yeah, seven that's million is low. Yeah. All yeah. we learn from this is like. The relativeness of sample size like a million hands doesn't mean that much 500k means almost nothing 100k means mm -hmm. dust but when you add win rate those things mean a lot yeah sure right if somebody's winning a lot in this in this sim you'll see it uh you'll see a true win rate start to emerge way sooner than you would at zero yeah like i just from playing with prime dope calcs when i was playing online cash call it a few years ago um you could see the difference in how much win rate affects over probability of loss over mm. whatever yeah, yeah, amount of hands yeah. you're looking at yeah. Where if you look at 100k hands and you have a win rate of like five big blinds per hundred, your probability of loss might be like 20 percent. Mm. You know, so now if you play 500k hands, the probability that you're losing is gonna be pretty low. Yeah. Possible, but low. Yeah. Some people just realize their equity more often than others. Like the tortoise. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Got to check down and go to river. You know, you realize all that equity. You realize that equity, but he forgets to get fucking value for it. <laughs> it's a little It's hard. fine. Hey. I didn't need that bet. Nah. I got to realize that equity, baby. Hey, uh, safety I made, first. I got to make a hand. <laughs> safety first. That's what they taught me on this boat. Yep, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the big speech to give somebody. It's like, oh, oh, you wanted me to bet that, did you? No, I was fucking realizing. Yeah, that's right. I'm out there <laughs> realizing. You know about I wanted realizing. to realize my equity with two overs and a Better and draw. better, and I saw all five. That's right. So who's we, the real winner? You're wishing. I'm realizing. <laughs> we need a Lamana fucking sticker that <laughs> just, with safety first, like just like a picket safety. <laughs> with a little tortoise. Yeah. yeah. Like the, like the like the one the, the tortoise. Yeah. yeah. But, tortoise approved. But with tortoise Lamana, approved, but safety first. Right. <laughs> Lamana's face Bling. on a tortoise head. I, I like where this is all going. Yeah. So perfect. All right, that's gonna do it for us. I haven't slept in two days. I need to go to bed. Uh, Bro is hopefully, EP. God, please let this upload. <laughs> this should be up in normal time. We're gonna pray. Uh, if it's not, you might not see us the rest of the week. If it is, we'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, noon Pacific 
on our YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click that bell. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Peace.